Before we start, I actually want to show you real quick the pack that I just released on Gumroad and our station is going to come on Blender Market soon as well, hopefully in the next couple days. But here's a little preview um, of it. So you're going to have like some super clean decals with uh, emission and bounce light built into it. Like most of them have the bounce light whenever they have emission. This one, for example, does not, but it's one of the very few ones that does not have the bounce like the rest of them all do uh, like this one for example or this one for example uh, let me yeah there you go this one has bounce light as well you can see it it's like nice spill of light like all over the geometry on the inside um, and along with the pack uh, comes also a uh, really uh, in detail explanation on how to bake the bounce light in just a few minutes, um, you know, sort of like bypassing decal machines, uh, bounce light baking, which takes uh, forever. Um, and, you know, how to get this beautiful glow of bounce light, like all over the geo. Um, there is also a video uh, from uh, Ryu, you know, Ponte, Ryu Rui, that he uh, posted on his uh, YouTube, because we kind of had a little collaboration on this um, little project of mine. He was helping me out quite a bit uh, with it. And uh, yeah, I got to give him big thanks for it. It was super helpful. And uh, yeah, this this is pretty much it. You got a ton of them, like with the bounce, as you can see. Like it's it's really it's really beautiful. It really uh, brings out like a lot of details, you know, like uh, in your decals. Like um, it's it's remarkable shit. Like and it's super fast. So if you, even if you're making decals with a laptop, like I am, because at the moment I am not home. I do not have a. Um, a desktop computer so I'm making all the all this stuff with a laptop in literally minutes so you know it's really it's really gonna help you out um, and uh, yeah just go check it out uh, many of them have subset as well like you know like uh, you can adjust it like with, match it with whatever material you wish um, and yeah that's that's pretty much all there is go check it out and uh, if you like it buy it it's gonna really help me out in my future projects and my tutorials and stuff like that and leave me a nice review hey how's it going nick here with another short one today uh we're gonna have a look at how to fix a shading issue after baking once again but this time is gonna be tricky because um I just finished baking this one and you know I fixed up the uh, the emission map and I well lo and behold I didn't see this goddamn crap here so I did not notice that this was gonna cause a shading issue my bad but you know what this is something really small like so when people uh, go to apply it on you know like it will never be so close to see the imperfection right never like you always be pretty far because you know that's how decals work um but if like me you're a bit of a perfectionist and you really want to dive in and fix this sort of stuff up you can do it two ways <clears throat> you can do it the regular way which is you go in you start making edge loops around and fix it try to sort of make the shading um Sort of like constrain it kind of to uh, a small area as small as possible but then again that's gonna take you a very long time but what you see here well that we cannot actually do what we did like for the other maps because like you know in the previous tutorial um sorry actually uh i do not remember where this ended up uh, okay should be what Sorry, one moment. Uh, electric box. Okay, yeah. So in this one, we had a look at how f uh, how to flatten, like um, sort of like the normals here, like because there was some mess in the normal map, and we fixed it up pretty quick with Photoshop. But um, this time, it's not going to be so simple because this was a flat face. It had one color, right? Now, instead, we're talking about this. Sorry again, tutorial decals, yeah. Now we're talking about something like this, which is a total bitch, because you have more shadings, you see it's not one color, and it's like all, you know, it's, it's pretty, pretty messed up. But there is a way of fixing it. 
Let's do it Photoshop. I'll show you real quick how it works. Um, it's gonna be a first for me as well, so I hope it works. Um, but yeah, we close this one. We go into the original decal. Um, now, what I wanna do, actually, <laughs> the bevel kind of overshot the inside as well. But what I wanna do basically is just to select those four faces. Um, go and select similar. Um, think area no select similar I think this is gonna work with polygon sides yeah there you go that worked just fine now you might want to hop one second into wireframe and make sure that nothing else is selected it isn't but you just have to make sure because otherwise you just start like hit the the plus oh my bad actually I do not have screencast enable as usual it always turns off for some reason, uh, but I keep hitting Control and Numpad Plus, you know, to expand the selection. And what I want to do here is that I want to expand it just enough that I go cover the whole bevel, right? So what I want to do is exactly this. Uh, by the way, I'm gonna disable the auto save feature because I'm gonna be deleting geometry and I do not want it to save. Yeah, I would say here it's fine. I'm gonna hit F. And I'm gonna close them all down like this, yeah. So now with these faces selected, yeah, there you go. You see? So now it's all it's all there, right? Now with these faces selected, what I wanna do is that I wanna control invert and delete everything else. And basically I just wanna make a map, right? Like before. But here we encounter another issue. Um, first of all, remember, your camera should be already set like this, right? It's to cover everything. So if you didn't do that yet, you gotta go do it before you start with this process. But I already did because I was baking all the stuff. So anyway, we can delete this. Now there is an issue here, right? Like uh, we can see only the top part of the decal, like when we bake it from top. So the bottom part, we're really not interested in, honestly. Um, in this case, it might be not too much of a big deal, but um, in some other cases it might. So what you want to do is you want to go here, select it, and draw from the first to the bottom and just delete vertices. So we're just left only with the top, right? We don't have to worry about that. Um, I think this should be fine as a mask. It should mask out those holes. Uh, and we should be pretty good. Um, now, remember, if you go to render, you don't see anything because you gotta you gotta enable transparent film like this so that you can see. And now we're 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 gonna be left only with this stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a quick render. It should be super fast because it's just those those things. Yeah, there you go. Even at a thousand samples, it just renders instantly. And we're gonna save it on the desktop. I should already have uh, yeah, a mask here. Okay, overwrite it. Sweet. Now we open up Photoshop. Mm, we wanna import, God damn you. We wanna import this map. Oh, just check the AO curve height just to be safe, but it should be fine. It's just the problem with the normals. So uh, with the normal map. So we're gonna have to fix just this. Now we're gonna go grab the uh, mask, ah, oh, Jesus, here you go, you see, uh, negligence on my side. Now, if I pop this in, you see it's black, <laughs> because even though um, it was indeed a transparency, I forgot to save it as an RGBA. See, because I didn't set it up before, I had to set it now, and there you go. So I'm gonna have to resave it. And now we, we're, we should be good to go. So we go on desktop. Grab our map, slap it on top, check that the handles are aligned perfectly, and we hit enter. And it looks right about perfect, actually. Oof. Wow, that's sweet. So you can decrease the opacity to check out if you're actually covering the bevel and stuff, but we definitely are. That's great news. Fantastic. So um, what I want to do first, I want to deactivate this mask one second. I want to go pretty close, like as close as you can to the uh, that bottom part. And what you want to do is that you want to grab this, leave the feather to zero, 
and grab the selection, uh, rectangle mark selection. Leave the feather to zero because you want to see if there is irregularities in the colors. Like you can clearly see it if it's uh, if it's like that on zero feather. If it's if there is some feather, you will not be able to tell. So what we're gonna do? We're just gonna grab this. We're gonna actually put like oh, if you don't have this, is Control R, and you can uh, pop the rulers and you can use the guides, right? So the guides are gonna tell us that. This is the, the selection where it should slide yeah, up and down. So we're just going to select the part that we need to delete. We're going to slide it down. Make sure that it's, it's uh, snapping to the, uh, to the thing, uh, to the grids, uh, to the guides. Give it a little bit of play. And we're going hit, to hit Control-Alt-J. So when we hit Control Alt J, we create um, basically we create a uh, there's a layer via copy, but it keeps the bottom part, right? So we just created a perfect copy of this part, see, without touching actually the bottom part. So now that we've done this, you can just grab this one, slide it up like so, and. We're just going to go cover that top part. Now, it's important that it's identical. This also works, by the way, if you want to get rid of some stuff. But then <laughs> the problem is you got to go get rid of it also in the AO uh, curve height map. So <laughs> careful with that. You can't, it's not like you just delete it in the normal map and you're done, right? Like you got to, I've done it, but I have to fix up both maps. And honestly, it's not so bad. It really takes you a couple minutes, but really, um, you can do it in no time. But anyway, um, so now we covered all this and we're good to go, right? Pretty much. Uh, but there is still one thing to do. We need to cut out the holes, yeah? So we're gonna control left click on the map, hide it, go to the hole, um, to the top one that is covering, yeah? And we're just gonna hit delete, backspace delete. We deselect and we go save it. And let's see if we messed everything up or if <laughs> if it actually worked and I am fairly confident it worked but I wouldn't bet my life on it to be honest uh, what I'm gonna do though just to be safe um, I'm gonna rename this one in normal backup just in case and save the new normal because I am terrified I'll mess something up and I'm screwed right so just to be safe I'll just save a backup now, I'm gonna go here just open it directly from the decal and we should be good yeah what the fuck <laughs> right um something went wrong normal why is it not loading normal ah what the hell? Okay, now it loaded it for some reason. It wasn't loading it, um, but now it's fine. Anyway, now if we go in to check, it's pretty good. But there might be some problems also with the other map. AO curve and height. Hmm. Fascinating. Okay. But overall, I mean, I'm going to try to go fix it up, but <clears throat> honestly, look, you're really going to have to go in like, you know, like a madman and just, you know, like to go super close and be like, oh, there is a little bit of a shading issue right here. You will never go so close to this decal. So, you know, it should be good to go already. Like, you're going to notice the big stuff, the big problems. Right, let me see if I can find you some... Um, some crap that I had to deal with. Uh, no, this is pretty much fine, actually. I corrected this. Uh, this was messed up before. Um, I don't think, sadly, I don't think I have any that are messed up as it is. Uh, no. But the big problems... Um, no, these are fine because I've they're f finished versions. I don't know. And sadly, I don't I don't have any. But uh, this one I 
uh, this one there was nothing to fix actually but the thing is that <clears throat> whenever something big and noticeable from like a distance like this yeah it's a big deal it's serious it's serious right like you shouldn't sell that shit you should go fix it up but to be honest with you like when you get a decal like this honestly it just looks perfect and but then you know like you have some very very minor inconsistency here in the shading is not that big of a deal like seriously don't warp your head around it too much i mean it's it's fine seriously you don't have to go insane about little crap like this but we can try to fix it so i'm just gonna pop the uh, right a yo curve height map let's see what's up with this uh-huh yeah there might be a little bit of a mm. yeah slightly we will see we will try to fix it the same way so we're just gonna go grab the map that we made which is uh, here so Honestly, this method is unbelievably useful. Like seriously, I don't know. Jesus, thank God that I, I devised it sort of pretty early in my workflow, so that you know it saved my ass so many times. It's incredible. Um, now we're gonna do exactly the same. So we're just gonna make a selection. Yeah, actually, I started from the bottom. I shouldn't have. Yeah, something like this. You know. Actually, hold on a minute. You know what it could be, actually? It's me being a moron, that's what it is. Let me check this map. Aha. Uh -huh. Of course, of course, of course. My bad, actually, my bad. This, you know where the problem is? I did not take into account that the shading issue goes almost all the way up to here. So I should have taken a bigger portion. Ah, oh, I messed up. I messed up, right? So, well, you learn from your mistakes, right? So, um, it's actually my first doing this. So, bear with me a bit. So, um, perfect. So, we go here and we take a bigger chunk this time, yeah? So, don't be afraid because it's all the same shading. Um, so, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, what we're going to do once again is that we're going to slide it down to somewhere like here, which we know it's safe. Uh, Control J. So, we make a layer view copy. It looks identical, and now what we want to do is uh, maybe Jesus. No, it's fine. We're just gonna yeah go find it now. Oh, there it is. So we're gonna slide it up, and you really want it to be there. So what I'm gonna do actually in this case, I'm gonna temporarily. Uh, apply some curves on it because create the clipping mask perfect so because I really want to see where it is the bastard because otherwise I have no idea what, what I'm doing right so you're gonna make a curve adjustment and make sure it's on top of the layer that you're working with and then you make it um, you give it a um, Jesus a clipping mask yeah so it is, it's basically a, being applied just to that layer and not to the bottom one so now what we're gonna do so that we're gonna go in pretty close. I think this is honestly it's close enough. I kind of nailed it like blind, but yeah, no. seems like eyeballing it worked. Now we're good. We'll just delete the top. Um, the top is in the layer view copy. Uh, sorry, Jesus Christ, the curves thing. But actually, I want to check one thing real quick. Yeah, this is okay. I think it's covering pretty well. Yeah. This should, this should be good. This should be good. So now we're going to uh, control left click on the mask and we're going to delete this. And we should be left with something like this. Of course, like increase the opacity to max. And we should be good to go. Now just reactivate the bottom layer, save as. We go PNG, hit normal, save, overwrite it. Perfect. Now we go check it out. Mm, real decals, uh, reactor. Let's see. Let's see if it was just me being a dumbass. 
not using a big enough mask or Yep, can confirm, it was me being a dumbass. So now, now the shading is perfect. So as you can see, we corrected that, that ugly, weird shading that we had over there. And, and now it just looks great, right? So there is, a, there is this little trick, you know, might wanna use it um, if you have some surface to work on, you know, that's just gonna be fine, right? So that you get rid of that ugly shading and everything looks great. And yeah, I did put this little bit of a custom uh, thingy, like emission, um, you know, like uh, the usual bounce light and emission that I go baking. Uh, I'm gonna put the link into the description for the bounce light baking video. There is a couple of them already out. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. That's how you correct some messed up shading from some weird crap like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.